Let's take you to five things you need to know for today. Pinconning is ending its decades-long association with Northern Bay Ambulance. City now contracting with Patriot Ambulance Services. Chairman of Northern Bay Ambulance warns the change means longer ambulance response times. The city manager there says Patriot has a facility in Cacallan Township, but there are plans to add another, possibly in Fraser, Pinconning Township, or in Pinconning. Stars in Saginaw adding new stops on existing bus routes today. Route 1 now includes the Heights Department on Center Road and Green Acres Plaza on Hemeter Road. Route 9 now stops at St. Mary's Health, the VA Clinic, and at Ross Medical. For more on these updates, go to WNEM.com. Work on the N30 Bridge over Wixom Lake in Edenville begins on Monday. This is your heads up. Tipperary Bridge has been in place for about three years after the original one washed away during the 2020 dam failures. And dots building a wider, taller bridge, 12-foot lanes, and 5-foot walking lanes for people. Work's expected to be done in October. A Tuscola County community meet getting millions from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The Michigan Infrastructure Office says that Mayville awarded nearly $10 million and a loan of just over $4.5 million to improve its sewer and lagoon system. The MIO says that the current system is aging and ineffective. All right, start your engines, everyone, or just get ready to hear them. The <laughs> toughest monster truck tour returns to Saginaw starting today. You can walk on the dirt, see the trucks up close and personal, and even get a chance to meet the drivers. So TV5's Lauren Piesco has been doing that all morning long at the Dow Event Center, giving us a preview of the tour. Lauren, good morning. Blake Sierra, good morning. That's right. The toughest monster truck tour returns to Saginaw tonight through tomorrow. I have one of their drivers here, Darren Basil, driver of Blockhead. But first, let's get a sneak peek at the show you'll see tonight. You guys didn't just burst your eardrums. <laughs> Darren, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Oh man, the whole show is a great time, so I look forward to the whole show. I like racing, freestyles for the fans, but it's going to be a great time, so they need to get out here. And how long have you been doing this for, and how did you first get into it? I started in truck pulling right out of high school about 24 years ago, so I've been in it a while. Big trucks has always been cool to me, and seeing a 10,000-pound truck fly through the air was just something I wanted to do for a living. <laughs> well, I mean, let our audience know, are we going to see any cool tricks from you tonight, any wheelies, any high jumps? Absolutely. Toughest Monster Trucks Tour um, isn't called that for no reason. I mean, we build the biggest jumps, we get the biggest air, the most exciting show you can see in a little building, so it's going to be a great time. Come out for the pit party before the shows, get your autographs. It's going to be great. Absolutely. We've been we've been uh, working on the trucks all week, putting Blockhead together. It's not in the building yet, but we're going to be ready to tear it up here tonight. All right. Thank you so much, Darren. We'll be talking more to him at 9 o'clock, so stay tuned later this morning. You can find all the details on the toughest monster truck tour on our website. Just visit WNEM.com. Live in Saginaw, Lauren Piesco for TV5, sending it back to the studio.